I had such a wonderful, pleasant surprise. You know how I feel about getting recipes from y'all. I just love it. And uh, I got um, an email from Beth Hel 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 Helgeson. <laughs> Helgeson. <laughs> uh, that's easy for me to say, isn't it? Uh, but she says, hi, Paula, my name is Beth, and I live in Mantino, Mantino, Illinois. And I've been watching you on TV for 20 years and have enjoyed every minute of it. We have been blessed with two beautiful boys just like you, and I've always admired the special relationship you share with them. You're an inspiration to so many people and touch so many lives. I never miss your YouTube. Look forward to them. My beautiful cousin, Nan... Uh, has worked with you in the past as a food stylist, yes, uh, Nancy McCullough. And uh, she worked with us on, uh, I think it was a Mother's Day special that we shot at my Aunt Peggy's house in Albany uh, to celebrate Mother's Day. And uh, this recipe that Beth has sent me is a recipe that Nan's mother uh, shared with Beth. She said, my beautiful Aunt Maxine, ooh, I can't begin to pronounce that one, Eddie, D-E-S, capital M-A-R-T-E-A-U. <laughs> Can you pronounce that? Denmark, too. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Sorry, Beth. <laughs> Uh, she said, I've been making this delicious, easy casserole for as long as I can remember, but I've tweaked it over the years, and it's one of our favorites. Every time I make it, I think of my Aunt Maxine and all of the wonderful memories we shared. I hope that you'll share this recipe with your viewers, and you all enjoy it as much as we do. Love, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, girl. Uh, you know, for years now, y'all's mail has meant so much to me. Um, so thank you. All right, so it's a hot chicken salad casserole recipe that she sent us. And uh, all of y'all probably have a version of a hot chicken casserole. I know I've made it for years, but not this particular one. So, Beth, I'm looking forward uh, to... Uh, trying your version. So let's see. I really hadn't even read the recipe yet, Beth. I just read that sweet letter from you. All right, heat oven to 350, spray a nine by 13 pan with cooking spray set aside. In a large mixing bowl, combine chicken, instant rice, Onion, celery, water chestnuts, mayonnaise, cream of mushroom soup, and salt and pepper. Mix until all combined. Spread into your um, number 13 and add the cornflakes to a food processor and pulsate until you have crumbs. Now mix the cornflake crumbs with the melted butter until combined and then top the casserole evenly with your buttered crumbs. Sounds delicious. Uh, so let me start with a big bowl. Naturally, the biggest bowl is always on the very bottom. <laughs> oh, and uh, <clears throat> a viewer and friend, <clears throat> excuse me, sent these measuring cups to us the other day. And uh, we just been using the heck out of them. Thank you, girl, for thinking of us. <laughs> Trying to get down and make sure it's all a half a cup or three quarters of a cup. It's not easy. All right, I think I, my peanuts are just starting to boil, so I got to keep an eye on those. All right, so she said, um, I can't remember which order she said to do this. I don't think there's probably really much of an order. Uh, yeah, it just goes all in the, all in the bowl. All right, and cooked rice, or either just instant rice cooked. Yeah. 
That'll give it some substance, won't it? All right. Now here's the way I do my eggs. I just take them and, and squeeze them. Just squeeze them till they're about the size I like. I like to see the pieces of eggs because to me they just taste good. And uh, my fork will search them out. And we are using eight eggs, y'all. That's a lot of eggs. To me, this is just easier than trying to chase, chase one around a cutting board, <laughs> trying to chop it. I probably could have used my egg slicer to make this go a little faster, slice them and then start squeezing, but I've been known to do things back acid, y'all, for a long time. <laughs> okay, so our eight eggs are in there. And when you get them mashed up, it doesn't look all that terribly many, does it? All right, I'm going to add my celery which to me, a good chicken salad has to have celery. And onions. And water chestnuts. I love water chestnuts. They have no taste, but it's that crunch that's worth a million dollars to me. Okay. This is a great... Oh, uh, quick meal. You know, if you got somebody sick and you want to do a little something for them, this is a great dish to, to do that with because you can do it so quickly. Okay. Some of these pieces, I'm going to just cut a little bit. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. <laughs> and then we're going to add our cream of mushroom soup. And I'm going to get out a pan. And start... Oh, my butter's already melted. Okay, well, I will just go ahead and put those in the pan. And I'm going to drizzle them with the butter. Thank you, Teresa. I didn't know the butter was already melted. All right, you want to just toss those around, hopefully. Getting some butter on every kernel. Okay. All right, now I'm fixing to wash my hands again. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> last night, Eddie was walking around out in the yard and he came in the kitchen. He said, Paula, you got to come out. You can see this. You're not going to believe it. So I went out there and we we're just both standing there with our mouth wide open, looking at each other. Can't believe we're seeing this. Uh, we had never seen baby hummingbirds before. And they were at one of our, what's the name of that dish? That bush? Uh, Mexican sage. A little louder. A Mexican sage. Mexican sage. And it's beautiful. It's got these purpley long stem blooms on it. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Eddie cut some and brought them in the house. 
Well, those little things, they, were, they had the long beaks and you couldn't see their wings because they went so fast. And they were getting into every one of those, getting them some supper. Well, so we did the live Facebook. And Eddie came to me this morning. He said, well, <laughs> we heard from some folks out there. And it appears that what we thought was baby hummingbirds are insects. <laughs> And what kind of insect is it, Eddie? A uh, hummingbird moth. It's called a hummingbird moth? Yeah. Well, I'll be dog. I don't think I remember hearing you say that this morning. All right, so in goes our cream of mushroom soup. That looks like maybe two cans, is it not? One and a half, actually. One and a half cans. You know, people can scoff at cream of mushroom soup if you want to, but... It's so good. Okay, so we want to just stir this up good. Uh, Michael and I was sitting at the table last night eating a sandwich, and he had some video going on his phone. And uh, it caught my eye. He said, just look at this, Paul. And it was this Cajun, and that boy, apparently, I don't know his name, I don't know anything, but he was very entertaining to watch. And he, he would cook for like 200 people. I mean, his pots were big. And for his spatula, he used like a boat paddle. That was his spatula. All right, so I'm spraying my pan as Beth instructed. And I don't think she didn't call for any salt and pepper in this, did she? No, Paul, I don't think so. I don't, I don't have a recipe in front of me. You don't. Now we're just going to spread that evenly out. And like I said, this goes in a 350 degree oven. And I think, I think best said about 30 minutes. It's going to be delicious. All right. Now our buttered, our buttered cornflakes. And you want to just put those on evenly. And that's going to make a nice thick layer of crunch. There's nothing like that crunch on top of casseroles. That's it. Can't get any easier than that. And for this dish, I would recommend going to the grocery store and getting a roasted chicken and debone it and use that for a really, really quick, quick dish. Okay, so in 30 minutes, we'll be Tasting some hot chicken salad. Beth, this looks just delicious. I can't wait to taste it. It's a variation of your hot chicken salad casserole dishes. Uh, and I always love, you know, people showing me different ways to prepare a dish. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And it might be so hot. Get back up there. My crust is trying to jump off. And that's my favorite part. <laughs> Teresa, get you a bowl. Mm.
I love that crunchy top best, but I love the eggs in it. Mm -hmm. The boiled eggs. Oh. They just give it another flavor. Look at the steam coming off that fork. <laughs> Does anybody want me to dip them up some? Okay, well, I'll eat alone then. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I just got a nice bite of the onions. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy to my tummy. That's what I say to my grandbabies that's Whoops, <laughs> that you're trying to encourage to eat. And they're so cute, they'll rub their little belly and say, yummy, yummy to my tummy. Beth, thank you so much. That is so good. And Another thing that I really like about this recipe, Beth, is your celery and your onions were not uh, sauteed. You know, they went in straight raw and it gives them so much more flavor when you bite into it than if you had sauteed them. So thank you, Beth. I appreciate it so much. Uh, and I look forward to you coming back. <laughs> Yum. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.